Hello, testing one, two. All right, so I'm gonna be giving a little tour of my setup for all the drum geeks out there. This is for the Recobite show where in Perth doing our final show of the Quick to Judge tour. I'm gonna be using Harry's kit, our sound guy's kit, which is a gas custom drum kit. I've got these, which are new custom symbols. It looks like Brian, but I've just been told it's Breen. Get a close up on that. I shouldn't be telling everyone this. This is like this is like the 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 secrets. Pretty much, we've recorded all our all our songs with these symbols, and they are beautiful. Not a lot of people have them because they're kind of like a small business custom um, symbol brand, and they hand make them in Australia. I've got the vintage collection green symbols. We've got DW Hardware, Kicks DW as well. People seem to like want to know what's in my stick bag and it's kind of boring because lots of drummers have mallets and cool types of sticks but I literally just like just use 5B Vic Firth and I just try and stock up with heaps of those. I've got like random ones, some of them are broken and I just chuck that in this side and then these are the ones that I actually use. I keep giving my sticks away so only got one pair left that are actually usable, I reckon. People seem to be a bit interested in the SPD as well. This is kind of where all the click tracks are and um, we have a few backing tracks. We've been sampling a couple of lines of some of our songs. When I click that, it's very obvious. The backing tracks will start and then I have like eight clicks before it starts. Everyone in the band kind of is connected by this. It just like keeps tempo the whole song. That's so I don't speed up or slow down, which used to happen a lot, but now is like, solved I guess. We've been sampling that but the next tour we're definitely going to be using it a lot more um, so 90% of our songs at the moment are just like a metronome in my ear so I know what the time is. That's pretty much it. I have a shout mic which only goes to the in-ears of everyone that's on stage which is a lot of fun because sometimes I can just say some stupid shit and then get a laugh out of them but no one else can hear me. I did get a few funny looks when I'm like speaking into the mic and I'm talking to the boys and no one can hear it out there. They think it's just like unplugged or something. The main bit. All right, this is the snare drum I use. I have a few, but this is my favorite at the moment. It kind of is the, the sound of dice, I guess. It's a Ludwig Acrylite and it's a 6.5, which is a bit deeper. It, it's a bit fatter. And we've been like kind of testing the different tunings on it. And it's really fun to um, try and find our sound. It's like each song is different, needs a different like tuning, I guess. I've just found the sweet spot, I think tonight. But yeah, I just use Harry's tune bot, which is down there. I can get five different snare sounds out of this I reckon yeah it's really fat and sounds good live but yeah this has been the go-to snare I think lots of drummers that are playing like that alternative rock indie rock music and they want them drums to sound fat they usually go for this snare it's very reliable and I'm obsessed with Ludwig so and then I got a ST dry skin on it and a snare weight that's pretty much the setup so yeah thanks for tuning in